How to delete website GoDaddy tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you're going to allow yourself to delete a website from GoDaddy. So to do this, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy because it's just a very basic procedure that you're going to follow to delete a website from GoDaddy. Now, you can, you know, search your domains and uh, mess around with all those things if you want, but just follow the steps that I'm about to show you in this video. And uh, obviously, after showing you how you're going to delete the website, I'm also going to show you how you're going to buy a website, how you can potentially get a website back after deleting it and a whole lot of more things. So, yeah, please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end because it's going to be very informational and you will not regret watching it. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to start things off, you're obviously going to come over to GoDaddy.com, okay? Now, once you've headed over into GoDaddy.com, as you can clearly see, what you're going to do from there is you're going to make sure that you have an actual website, okay? So let's say we have an actual website. So from there, what you are going to want to do is you're going to scroll down to the footer section, okay? And here it says choose your country and region. Make sure that everything is set according to your pricing and your region and once you've done all of that you're gonna log into your account okay and after logging into your account uh you're gonna click on this dashboard section over here and in this dashboard section what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these options okay now in these options basically you're gonna be going into your products okay which is right here so my products and if you have a website basically under the your business section you're going to start finding those websites okay so whatever domains you have whatever websites you have they're going to start appearing over here and what's going to happen is uh it's going to ask you to you know edit your website so let's say we have a website that we've published you're going to obviously go into editing your website and once you go into editing your website in the top right section of the editor you're going to get a settings option that is obviously going to give you a few options like publish and stuff like that. So you're going to go in the published section and over there, they're going to give you a button to unpublish. So you're going to unpublish your website from the settings and that should be good for you. So what that does is it unpublishes your website, but if you totally delete it, like unpublishing doesn't really remove your website from the hardware because your website is only unpublished it's not removed from the godaddy's interface let's say if you were to delete your website fully and your website ceases to exist then what you can do like in the process that you might want it back right so in that case you can obviously go and contact us and once you go to contact us uh you can either contact them on this support number that they have or you can send them any type of email, but usually on the support number, they will obviously pick up your phone call because it's pretty uh, easy and uh, pretty simple to contact them. You know, it's not too difficult. So, yeah, basically moving on, uh, you can also on GoDaddy, it's really simple to do all these different kinds of things as well, because you can buy your own domains. You can buy your own .net, .hal, .site domains. It's really simple and it's really fun to do all of this. And GoDaddy gives you the best prices for domains, okay? And people usually do undermine this feature, but GoDaddy gives you a free domain for the first year. So just imagine. So a free domain for the first year and then from there on out obviously your domain is going to be like going to exceed more and more but a free domain for the first year it's pretty incredible even to think about that so you know really fun stuff and you can find different domains by just writing like let's say i want to open a coffee shop i'm going to call it coffee brew okay i'm going to call it that i'm going to search it up and it's going to give me different domains according to the word that i search so here we go coffeebrew.com so this is in my currency this is free like this is totally free so basically it gives you your domain free for the first year and then for the rest of the years 
obviously you're going to have to pay around uh, you know $20 or something like that 18 or $20 so pretty decent prices per year 18 to $20 that's pretty cheap in my opinion and uh, a lot of people should go with GoDaddy's different features and pricings because it's absolutely incredible and then obviously moving on GoDaddy is just an amazing web host okay godaddy's web hosting provides users with storage email addresses and unlimited bandwidth okay so absolutely the best web service provider out there and it's pretty incredible because a lot of people have been using godaddy for quite some time and they've been pretty happy with it and the entry level setup fee is pretty simple and the offerings in its pricings and plans is also that it gives you a free trial which not a lot of people actually do. So if I were to go to GoDaddy's main uh, section over here, you can actually find its uh, different pricings and plans that it provides its users. So these are the different pricings and plans. You can get different types of websites for different types of prices. And it's just a really great thing to get for yourself. You can also check different renewals and billings in the subscription section and in the subscription section, you can see the different pricings that it has. Now, currently, obviously, I'm using the free plan, but uh, to get different subscriptions, you can obviously go into upgrading your GoDaddy.com. You can also shop on GoDaddy.com. Pretty incredible stuff. So GoDaddy is a pretty high-end server performing software, and it just gives you the best out of everything when it comes to using different products for yourself. So, yeah, do try it out because it offers more than just a platform to build a website. They aim to offer everything needed to create an effective, memorable online presence. So for existing sites, GoDaddy offers hosting plans designed to keep it fast, secure, and online. And GoDaddy also offers professional email and online marketing tools to enable entrepreneurs to get online with an SEO-friendly website. GoDaddy is offered as an all-in-one solution provider to get online backed with personalized support from GoDaddy guides. And it could be compared to, you know, websites like Shopify, Bluehost, Squarespace, Google Domains, Namecheap, WordPress, you know, all the greats. So absolutely incredible. And I would definitely recommend all you, um, you know, storekeepers or domain buyers out there to use GoDaddy because the deletion, as I showed you in the start of this video, really easy, buying it really simple. So yeah, that's the general outlook of how you are going to be using GoDaddy for yourself. So that's pretty much about it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you people next time. Goodbye.